you're a God-fearing Filipino, and you are not into something which is destructive to your fellow men, you have absolutely nothing. I will die for you. Ito ho yung, uh, ito ho yung, we'll try to dissect, ano, yung, yung kay Trillanes na, ay, call it trash talk. Dahil, kababuyan at kasinungalingan yung mga pinagsasabi niya, although wala namang tao. Okay, uh, ito na, okay. Hi, hi Joy. Joy is my classmate from college. Kumusta na Joy? Thank you for plugging in. Rachel Rivera, kumusta? Kumusta ko kayo? So anyway, I promised somebody yesterday dahil sabi ko, I'm not really interested in jumping into what Trillianis is going to say. Pero sabi ko, okay, let's let's see, let's listen up kung ano, dahil, you know, expected naman ako na sasabihin niya. Uh, we kind of know. Pero curious tayo kung ano yung mga bago at yung idadagdag niya. Uh, to tell you honestly, ni-review ko, siguro, wala pa sa gitna parang hindi ko hindi ko maabsorb yung ano yung mga pinagsasabi niya but anyway let's try to refute few of the things that he is saying sa simula ho so uh, oh Jerome Matulin kumusta uh, schoolmate ko si Jerome from from the Philippines sa Davao so anyway yes yeah, so kung yung hindi pa nakaka-plug in so hopefully they'll catch up uh, and uh, I'm going to talk about what Trillanes had said dito sa, sa kanyang uh, speaking engagement sa Dallas City, California and uh, he was talking of course uh, once again, wh what else do we expect? A demolition team, ito solo demolition team after he went to uh, San Fran's, I mean, uh, Florida to speak with Senator Rubio uh, we don't know, ang sabi niya, hindi naman siya, hindi naman niya sinaraan yung bansa natin, but uh, he kind of like wanted to discuss with him the extrajudicial killing. That alone itself is already, you know, a vindictive uh, judgment sa nangyayari sa Pilipinas. But uh, anyway, okay, Benito Pancho, kumusta ho? So anyway, at pumunta siya ng New York at hindi nakipag-meet sa mga tao rito. Actually, siguro naramdaman niya, nobody is interested to come and see him. So kausap niya mga media and then somebody book him itong Filipino Alliance of uh, Human Rights sa California. So they book him, so he came forced to speak. Uh, pinakinggan natin and most of the people who went there, yung mga uh, pro-admin supporters, uh, ang pagkakaintindi ko, they stood outside, hindi lahat nakapasok dahil, I don't know if it's limited kasi may nakita tayo na maraming bakanting upuan. So maybe they, they, they filtered the, the audience and understandably, ayaw siguro nila mayroong mga hecklers, ayaw nila may nanggugulo. So, that's, that's understandable. Um, very common naman yan, you know. Pero that alone is actually suppressing democracy and also the freedom of people to express their opinion or maybe ask questions. So, they, they obviously uh, stop the people from doing that, but pero may mga ibang nakapasok and they manage to ask questions. So, uh, a lot of questions are good, but uh, there are, of course, ridiculous questions. I don't know if they're less just planted there just to kind of like throw the questions, but, uh, you know, that's very common naman, ano. So we understood that. Pero, you know, yung mga, yung mga talks niya, and I started, you know, of course, nilampasan ko na lang yung, yung part ng, ano niya, yung part ng mga sinabi niya, and one thing that really catches my attention is... Uh, uh, sabi niya rito, capitulation of the House of Congress uh, Para bang pinapalabas niya na, na si Pangulong Duterte Pinlano na niya ito noon pa Na ganitong gagawin niya And then in-execute niya yung plan niya uh, Kung baga binraso niya yung, ano, yung gobyerno So parang, parang Actually, you know, he gives too much credit to the president Para sinasabi niya, wow Ito presidenting ito, parang uh, you know, magician, he's a good, uh, he's a good guy, he controlled. Can you imagine, sabihin mo sa kanya na, sasabihin mo yun, i-announce mo sa senator, senator yung, yung House of Congress, kinamit niyo yung word na capitulation, yung, yung bumigay sila sa kanya. Can you imagine that? That's very insulting sa Congress. I don't know how he gets away with his, with his, you know, statements. Ang Congress is like, ako nga kung Congress, I'm gonna stand up and, 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 and uh, call him out. Uh, what do you think of us? We we don't have our way of thinking. The truth of the matter is, 
Nanalo pa ulit-ulit sinabi ng Pangulo, nanalo siyang presidente dahil sa boto ng mga tao. Wala siyang supporters sa partido. Ano nangyari nung nanalo siya, nakita nila hindi na mapigilan, lumipat yung mga ano, hindi, hindi niya kalyado yung nasa ibang partido. Sumali, naging kalyado niya, naging, naging uh, anong tawag dito, uh, super majority, nag-join sa super majority. So, dyan pa lang, you know, butata na si, ano eh, si Trillanes, yung mga sinasabi niya, you know, from, from the get-go, you know, he started like beautiful story about, you know, anong plano ng Pangulo, tapos paano din nila ng Pangulo. R really, he, he's trying to, to, to make it appear like, parang, wow, parang Diyos, ito si Duterte, dahil ganito nagawa niya. Man, Pero, you know, to tell that, uh, you know, to say something about the, the House of Congress capitulation, I mean, like, wow, that's gone overboard, man. <laughs> Ganyan ang tingin mo sa Congress, you're a Senate. You know, parang ang lit na tingin niya sa mga tao. Grabe itong tao ito. It's, it's uh, really, really, you know, it, condescending to the extreme. Uh, tapos, um, so ito yung, ito yung uh, video niya. I don't know if you guys can hear for Duterte and his minions. The justice system says that yet, based on records of the Department of Justice, only 37 cases are being investigated and of these, only three have been recommended for... Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, na miss ko yung part na capitulation, but he's... He talks about cases here, sa PNP, you know, about the, 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 the war on drugs. Sabi niya, only 35 cases ang, ang investigated. I, I don't know where he get his figures from, but, but it's, it's not 35. Kasi ang pagkakaalam natin ngayon, there's actually 1,600 cases that's being uh, uh, investigated. Uh, sa police side pa lang yan, ano? and 400 of them has been dismissed. If you can recall, merong 160 out of 239 na, na PNP uh, police na tested positive on drugs. 160 of them were were dismissed or, or relocated. Uh, pero yung iba, hindi sumunod dahil tatapon sila doon sa, ano, sa, sa, sa Buanga or sa Hulu or somewhere. So, you know, you're a senator and you're walking around in the international scene trying to carry some, some papers with you and talk to people about some evidence that, that you make it appear factual, pero hindi totoo. So, you know, how, how can a senator get, get away with this, with this type of thing? You know, you're a senator and uh, we all know na ang dami niya mga consultants. So, meaning, kung may consultant ka, you know, may pondo ka, Kaya mo, you can afford people to go round and putan mo ito, investigan mo ito, kunin mo itong informasyon na ito, ipaabot mo rito sa opisina dahil gusto ko malaman. So you can afford, you have the resources, you can afford uh, to, to, to do that. Hindi mo magawa-gawa yan. So meaning, ibig sabihin, kaya mong gawin pero ayaw mong gawin dahil ayaw mo mo ko yung katotohanan. Gusto mo lang sabihin yung mga kasinungalingan. So this is, this is what's going on. So, itong si Trillanes, yeah, uh, sabi nga ni Risa is, fake talaga itong ano, king of fake news. You know, pero ang, ang, ang sad part here is that nobody's calling out. state of out. emergency for the whole country. Teka, state of emergency. Then on 2023 of this year, you know, he declared martial law in the political scene in 2015. Na, na ano na siya ng ethics, ano? They're, they're supposed to have, uh, they're supposed to have this uh, ethics, uh, um, case against him because uh, of his unparliamentary conduct. Pero, I don't know what happened. So now, para sabihin mo ngayon na, na ang Pangulo has, is enjoying the support of majority as uh, having been his alliance because of well, magically or his power or what they call, you know, dictatorial, tyrannical, authoritarianism rule. I, I, I don't know where they get that from, but Hey, listen, if that's what they, they want to call a, a good leader that runs a big city for 23 years effectively, then, hey, I'll take it any day, okay? <laughs> because democracy in the Philippines is, is a joke. That's a pinila na, uh, he was telling something about populism here, but we'll, let, let's move on to that in a little bit. So, balikan lang natin yun. Sabi niya, uh, ito mga cases na to, ito lang daw ang naimistigahan. So, really, this is, I don't know where he get this from. So, 
I don't have to carry the information with me because I, ako kayo mismo alam natin na you know the the news that we're getting are 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 more factual. As sinabi niya pa na MSM are more credible. My goodness. And he said na yung paghabol daw ng pangulong Duterte kay Delima ay parang sort of retribution. Gumanti siya dahil inimbestigahan siya ng kanyang, uh, yung kanyang uh, DDS. Uh, so, ang ginawa nila, they fabricated proof. Now, once again, you you pull all these people from from the penitentiary with all the, the, the officers, pati yung boyfriend, uh, pati yung mga... You know, there are so many people uh, na accused na involved sa circle ng kanilang racket. And you think you can you can pull those people tapos you know be begin mo ng script just to fabricate and, and and put one person to jail? Wow, it's like mind blowing. How did this guy you know come up with this kind of thing? Like wow, is it more parang parang pinapalabas niya si Delima na kulong dahil napakagaling ng pagka-orchestrate nila ng fabrication. Bullshit. We have all the evidence. Hindi mo na kailangan sabihin kung paano pinakalat during the time under her watch as a Department of Justice Secretary na ang drugs kumalat ng gusto sa Pilipinas. And it became so affordable na pati mga bata can afford. Kaya may mga bata ngayon na, you know, tawagin sa Bisaya, tulibagbag na yung utak. Dahil sa sa kagaguhan ginawa ng ng mga uh, drug uh, drug trade na ito. Can you imagine huhulihin nila yung mga drugs na nahuli nila sa mga Bamboo Tribe or whatever this organized uh, drug syndicate tapos kinabukas ay papakita nila sa media sa press na look we busted this group and this is much amount that we get tapos kinabukasan wala na pag-uusapan dahil nandoon na binalik sa laboratorio nilutong ulit tapos sinaluwa ng konti in expand binenta ulit that's how bad they did this thing. Tapos ngayon, sasabihin nila na uh, si Duterte has been planning all along to create this kind of authoritarianism para ma My goodness! Trillianis is like, you are so disconnected, man! <laughs> I don't understand. You know, you, you, kung gagawa ka ng, ng disinformation campaign, make it a little more credible naman para, you know, ma-challenge naman kami to, to, to rebut or, or debunk what you're saying. Kasi what, what, what you're doing is like, uh, uh, really, I'm becoming somebody, uh, you know, uh, ought to be respected as a senator. Yung, yung, yung sinasabi mo, my goodness, it's like pulling information from a thin air para may masabi ka lang. My God, tapos to the point na mismo mga mambabatas na kasama mo, iniinsulto mo. What, what are you doing? You're trying to pump up your, your personality, your credibility. Tingnan mo, mga attendees mo, wala ka pang 30. Dahil wala nang naniniwala sa iyo. You know, I, I really didn't want to talk about you but you know, may mga tao na they they, they deserve to know uh, the bullshit that you're doing. So, uh, pinapalabas mo nga na yun nga si Delima is a political political victim. Okay, so tingnan natin dahil may may kaso nangyari and they have they have all the evidences uh, available tapos sabi mo pa may may term ka pa that uh, the Supreme Court notoriously uh, uh, acquiescing acquiescing or fields or parang bumibigay Supreme Court they making it hard for the president to push through with with uh, all these uh, changes tapos sasabihin mo na uh, you know yung yung Supreme Court is uh, you know hindi natatakot kay pangulo oh my god natatakot kay pangulo nagigil sa pangulo you know kaya nga ipapa-impeach na siya eh, dahil masyado siya nagpapahirap and be, and be, uh, by the way kaya siya may impeach because there is reasonable ground and if you would say again na uh, ang congress are doing this because they want to please the president that's a big bullshit. That's a big blunder. Dahil, you know, pumunta ka kaya doon sa, sa Congress at sa mo yan na, you know, ang, ang, nagpapagamit kayo sa Pangulo. So, yun ang, yun, ang, yun ang pinapalabas niya. Tapos, binanggit niya na, you know, there's, there's so many things. He, he, he talks something about Arroyo na, you know, given favor by the President kaya nakalabas. Alam naman ng mga tao ito that it was the fault of the uh, uh, Pinoy administration na meron silang 
Hindi kay sa dapat isampa against Arroyo na ma makukulong siya and, and, and she will be liable for the case. Pero yung mababaw ang binigay nila. So, what can what can the uh, the next administration do when they review the case na halos walang merit at saka walang laman yung laban? So, what are you gonna do? You're gonna... You're gonna justify the the incarceration na, na hindi tama yung laban so it's not his fault so I, I i don't understand why a senator like him is is trying to talk to people the way he does with this kind of information that was you know although thank god ang nauto niya ilan lang and i'm i'm hoping na not not even half of those that was there na you know nauto niya so anyway Sinasabi niya na uh, keso ng babraso yung Pangulo dahil si, si Serino uh, i-impeach niya, uh, si Ombudsman Morales i-impeach niya, tapos uh, he talks about, you know, we, we, we keep hearing this. Ito mga billions of money, tapos sinabi niya pa na bakit ayaw niyang pumirma ng waiver, ako pumirma na ako ng waiver. Maliwanag na, in-explain na natin niya sa sal and meron na yan, you know. He could actually check that out. You don't have to wait for somebody to sign a freaking waiver. Because you can look at that. And believe me, kung, kung, kung kakalkalin natin yan po, ah, saan yung 2 billion na yan, matrace natin. It was, it was there because it was, you know, it was moving. But it's not a money that, that stopped by his hand na pinapalabas mo. You know, it was during the campaign, may mga nagbigay sa kanya, some of which hindi niya tinanggap. So, uh, none of this is a secret. Tapos ngayon, parang pinapalabas mo as if, you know, the president was guilty of hiding some information. So, the, the funny thing, the funny thing is that, sabi niya, um, you know, yung, yung pag-declare ng martial law is uh, ginawa ng Pangulo na hindi man siya nag, nag, uh, ang tawag dito, nag, nag-consult sa kanyang mga military. You know, he was, we know he was in Russia when, when he decided that. But under the Constitution, he is obligated to do that. Otherwise, may impeach siya dahil sigurado tayo, yun ang sasabihin nyo. Dahil kung hindi niya pinus yung martial law, sabihin nyo, oh, irresponsible president, meron ang invasion nangyari sa bansa, hindi ka gumawa ng paraan. So now, you, you ought to be impeached. You know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Ito, ganito yung ginagawa ng mga taong ito. So, and, and, and to talk about populism, and he was trying to define populism. But anyway, let me just, let me see what else is bullshit that he's talking about. Four years about. before the elections. Then immediately after assuming power, he set into motion his grand plan and started Yeah, sabi ni, ni uh, Ate Carmelita, sabi niya, uh, I watched the video, Triliana said, you are not private to information I have. Oh yeah, <laughs> parang pinalabas niya na, si, may, may binagit siya by the way, na nakakatawa, no? sabi niya, uh, dito kasi kayo, you know, referring to the people who was there, hindi kasi kayo uh, up to date sa mga informasyon na nangyayari sa Pilipinas. I said, what the hell? Hindi niyo ba alam na yung Facebook is up to the minute? Let me tell you, Trillianis, when there was a baby, a, a, a boy or, and a girl, the kids, there was abuse by their father doon sa General Santos City. And it was posted on, on Facebook or actually sent to us by email. We were here in New York. We coordinated on time. On time namin kinoordinate sa PNP. And less than 24 hours, na-rescue ang mga bata from the abuse of their father dahil yung tatay was trying to demand money from a, the, the wife who is working overseas so inabuso niya itong bata para itreten yung nanay na magpadala ng pera pinadala niya sa nanay, binigay ng nanay sa isang kakilala pinasa sa atin now you're saying na kami, porket nasa labas kami ng Pilipinas we are out of touch with what's happening in the Philippines oh man, that is just You, you don't know what you're talking about, man. You have no clue what you're talking about. You know? I, I mean, mga kababayan na mo, maniniwala ba yung ganun? Na tayo, porkit nasa labas tayo ng Pilipinas, hindi tayo update, hindi natin alam yung nangyayari. My God, we are so involved. We're probably even more involved than most people that are in there. You know? So, ito yung gusto niyang palabasin. Eh. You know, he's creating a scenario na My God, it's it's beyond it's beyond lies. 
You know, he's like total publication. It's really, kaya tao ko dito, trust talk this information, you know, uh, to the next level. Ganito katindi. So, okay, let's see. Victims have been summarily killed either by police or by unknown assailants. Yet, based on records of the Department of Justice, only 37 cases are being investigated and of these, only three have been recommended for prosecution. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know. Kailan pa itong ano na ito? Kailan pa itong uh, news na ito na nakuha niya? Next was Congress. While historically, the House of Representatives had been an upper staff of the President, had been the Senate staff. had been known to be relatively independent and the foremost instrument for government checks and balances. But because of Duterte's notoriety for being politically vindictive, his high approval ratings, plus his subtle threats that any politician could end up on his mysterious drug list, the senators quietly folded. The capitulation of both houses of Congress virtually guaranteed impunity. For See, can you imagine that? Sabi niya, parang nananakot si, si Pangulo sa kanila. Kaya nagka-capitulation, the capitulation of both houses. Oh my God, it's it's ridiculous, man. Um, like I said, I, I don't understand kung, kung sa, sa Pangulo natatakot yung senador, yung mga senators natin, at saka congressman, o sa kanya. You know, kasi I don't see na ang Pangulo has the ability na na, na mat, natakutin niya itong House, Co House of Congress and Senate. Pero siya is seen to have, you know, turned things around. So many, so many, you know, stuff na ginawa niya na, na dapat natanggal na siya. Eh, nandyan pa rin siya. So, sino ngayon ang kinatatakutan nila? Is it the President or or you, Mr. Trudianes? I, I, I really suspect that you have so much power, so much influence, so much protection, and so much funding that you're able to talk bullshit everywhere you go and go scot-free. Yan ang, yan ang nangyayari, yan ang nakikita namin. You know? So, are you in cahoots with the other senators? It leaves us to think that way. Kasi ganun ang nangyayari. So, anyway, <laughs> maraming salamat to sa mga sa mga nito mga nanonood na uh, yung mga nanonood let's let's try to share and uh, invite some more some more uh, uh, ideas to come in and uh, mag magbigay rin kayo ng ano kung meron kayong meron kayong nakuhang idea doon sa mga sinabi niya uh, thank you Rodrigo Grandiano Dan P. Salvador Erlin uh, Dino Esteban uh, Lina Marinina and of course GGS Dean from from uh, Canada uh, thank you so um so, ito yung, ito yung sinasabi niya na pinapalabas niya. And this is exactly what they are trumpeting out. Si Raisa Robles is the same thing. So, matter of fact, I'm working on a piece para gawin ko in English way na i-rebut si Raisa Robles. Dahil ganitong ginagawa nila, uh, mga kababayan. Sa Pilipinas, wala na nakikinig sa kanila, wala na naniniwala. So, lumalabas sila. In, in the hopes na meron pa silang, you know, ma makapagsinungaling pa sila dahil walang walang bubuelta sa kanila. Yun, parang ganito ang tingin niya eh. Parang ganito niya tingin sa tingin sa mga Pilipino na nasa labas ng Pilipinas na na disconnected sa Pilipinas. Hindi natin alam yung nangyayari. Kasi natotoo naman may mga nagtatanong naman doon na talagang out of whack yung mga tanong nila. They, they'll probably just have access to ABS-CBN or GMA. Parang gano'n. No? In my opinion, yun na nakikita ko. Dahil kung, kung meron silang access sa real information, they're not gonna ask those type of questions. <laughs> may, may mga totoong questions na pwede nating you know, ipaabot sa kanya. So, uh, yung, yung, yung binanggit niya about napakaliit lang daw nung ano, nung, nung mautigo para daw mag-declare ng martial law ang Pangulo. My God, he has to see what the, the, the devastation they made, they caused sa Marawi. Sabihin na natin, it was, it was bombarded by aerial bombs 
but they were using the people as a human shield. Itong mga CHR pa kunwari e eh, imbestigahan nila kung kung na violate yung rights ng you uh, ng, ng mga Maoti group at mga ISIS. Bullshit. What kind of human rights they have? They use the people, the kids as a shield. They don't have freaking respect to any human life. Sabi nila there's a rules of engagement. That bullshit rules of engagement was was uh, instigated by Obama sa mga sa mga American soldiers when they were in in fighting in Afghanistan. Yun ang kanilang rules of engagement. According to their rules of engagement sa military is that you have to make sure that the enemy is firing back at you or there's a threat directly against you before you. Uh, delicious. <laughs>